What happens is when we worship in spirit and in truth, it engages our hearts. Right? How many of us have, have been there where we just kind of put one foot in front of the other and it's just something that we have to do and, and our hearts aren't in that right place? So, right, we see worship as an experience of, the, of truth and the spirit, but also of the heart. And Jesus talks about this in Matthew 15, verses 8 and 9. So, for the sake of your traditions... You have made void the word of God, you hypocrites. Well, here's what Isaiah says. He says, these people honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines the commands of man. So again, Jesus is talking about traditions and commands that the The Pharisees of that time were were looking at the outward things. But what was Jesus saying? Jesus was saying that their hearts weren't right. That hadn't allowed the Holy Spirit to transform them from the inside out. So Jesus is saying our prayers, our creeds, our confessions, our songs are in vain if they don't come from the heart. We can't give God our leftovers. Maybe the queen is coming over for dinner, right? So what do you do? You open the fridge and you open, you know, the leftovers. You kind of give it that sniff test. You're like, mm, no, it's, it's okay. It's not too, too bad. And, and you put all the leftovers out on the table. You know what? And, and maybe you don't, you know, don't really even set the table. You just kind of, oh, it's okay. Just kind of gather around, you know, get, get your, the plates are in the, in the cupboard over there. And, you know, they're pulling the wrong drawers because, you know, everybody puts their utensils somewhere else and you think it's there. So the queen's just fumbling around. Just, just leftovers, right? But, we often do that with God, don't we, in our worship? We, we leave it to the leftovers, like at the end of our day, or maybe I'll squeeze it in here. But that's not what God is calling us to as worshipers, is he? He wants it. He doesn't want our leftovers. He, wa- he wants it all. And I know for myself, preparing for this, I can definitely notice that in my life. It's like, oh, I'm busy. And, and so, okay, well, I'll squeeze it in here, Right? But just like that analogy of the leftovers, right? If the queen came, we would pull it all out, right? Maybe we would order food from the best restaurant. We would would clean our house. We would set the table with the finest china that, you know, we only use once a year. That's what we do. But but that's what God's asking of us too, right? That, That we come with him and we say, God, have all of us. Here is everything. Deuteronomy 6, 5 Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. With your everything, right? 1 Samuel 16, 7 says, Man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Again, that outward, but God's looking at our hearts. Luke 12, 34, Where your treasure is, there your heart will also be. Going back, is, is God's worship, is that where your treasure is? Is looking to him, is that where your treasure is? And as we can see from these scriptures, the heart is important as well. So that we worship in spirit, that we worship in truth, but as well that we allow God to have our hearts.